For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television here on your Thursday, July 13th, my name is Ian Kelly and these are the stories we're following at this hour. Vermont state officials are urging Vermonters to not lower their vigilance following devastating flooding. Vermont Public Safety Commissioner Jennifer Morrison says more flooding is a very serious possibility. Morrison says there have so far been no reported fatalities from the disaster. Officials say there have been more than 200 rescues so far in this storm and 100 evacuations. Right now, Lamoille County is the focus. There were dozens of rescues there overnight. Numerous communities are under boil water notices. A list of impacted water districts can be found on the Vermont Agency of Natural Resources website at vermont.gov forward slash flood. Widespread flooding in Vermont has caused many basements to fill with water and in some cases caused a release of oil from heating oil tanks in the basement. The Department of Environmental Conservation says if oil or petroleum is found to be floating on the water in basements that need to be pumped out, please report to the following phone number and that number is 1-800-641-5005. That's 1-800-641-5005. Five zero zero five during the workday for pumping out. Environmental cleanup contractors will respond to areas with significant flooding. Contractors can be directed to homes to assist with the pump out. As floodwaters begin to subside in Vermont and New Hampshire, Great River Hydro is asking people not to swim or boat near any of the hydro dams along the Deerfield and Connecticut rivers until the floodwaters ease. The company says high waters may contain chemicals, bacteria, debris, plus normal warning signs may be damaged or missing. Great Rivers Emergency Operations Center has been monitoring and managing river flows this week. The situation may continue for the next several days as additional rain is expected today through Sunday. A vigil was held Wednesday for a Rutland City police officer who was killed in the line of duty last Friday. Hundreds of people filled the streets outside the Rutland Police Department to remember 19-year-old Jessica Ebbinghausen. She was killed Friday when police say a burglary suspect was trying to get away and hit Ebbinghausen's cruiser directly head-on. Ebbinghausen's funeral will be held Tuesday, 10 a.m. at the Castleton University Pavilion. Parking is limited and carpooling is encouraged. WTSA Sports, Major League Baseball's second half of the season starts back up tomorrow following All-Star Game festivities in Seattle. The Red Sox will be in Chicago Friday to start a series against the Cubs. The Yankees will be out in Colorado Friday to begin a series with the Colorado Rockies. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television here on this Thursday, July 13th, please have a safe and tremendous rest of your day, everybody. My name is Ian Kelly.